Okay, so welcome to part two. Hopefully, um, you guys found part one kind of interesting. Basically, all I was re really doing was just taking apart, just assembling everything, getting ready to cut the cross member. Um, but what I did notice was that you don't need to unbolt the drive shaft. You can probably get away with just cutting um, with a sawzall or whatever reciprocating tool you decide to use. You probably don't need to take off the drive shaft. Um, I kind of wasted time doing that and that's one thing I would have not done. So hopefully you guys like part two. In the final episode I'll go over why I chose Rough Country as far as um, all the little details and hopefully it'll help you guys decide whether or not you want to choose Rough Country or any other uh, lifts that are out there. BDS, uh, Bulletproof and um, th there's a whole bunch out there so yeah hopefully you guys like part two. Okay the differential is finally out. It was not easy, but it was not hard. There's the, um, was it a 19 millimeter and the bottom going up. That's the clip that we, we released right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Oh well, there is a uh, breather vent tube. Well, it's too bad. You can't. There it is. That's the breather vent tube. That just comes off very easily. And then there's two on the other. Okay, then on the other side, the 19 millimeter there. Um, the back brackets there. That's when we did the one on the top, one on the bottom. I'll reference you um, another company that does a really good job explaining all of what I just did. And then you just wiggle down the uh, front differential with a second hydraulic jack. Now we're gonna do the uh, process to cut the cross member. And then once we cut the cross member, we can start reassembling everything and that should be it. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay, here we go. Day two with the Tacoma six inch Rough Country build. So to go over the instructions from Rough Country, at least they give you um, tools needed, but there is one thing that is severely wrong with this. Um, here, five millimeter Allen, wrong. It is a 12 millimeter five millimeter is way too small um, they give you a torque spec so I mean as I'm going along I am torquing it torquing the bolts down and these are the uh, torque specs as far as the size of the bolt grade of the bolt and your torque specs okay parts listing each uh, part not part there's boxes with bags and they're all labeled one seven four six bag two 1746 bag 3. That kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to be looking for. Now I did print the instructions. Um, the instructions that it comes with is not that good. So uh, if you have access to a color printer, I highly suggest you do that. So to catch you guys up, I did take off the sway bar, uh, brake lines, ABS lines, loosen the uh, stirring tie rod end. Um, I then I loosen the uh, brake caliper. The brake caliper is hanging up over there. A 35 millimeter nut to take off the um, center of the uh, nut for the axle. Oh, and, but then at that point I also, once I took the disc off, uh, there's four nuts, 17 millimeters. That's one, two, three, four, that's holding the front wheel bearing on. I loosened those since it was on the vehicle and they made life a whole lot easier. And then you just unscrew it and take the whole knuckle off. I did drift out with a little um, squared off kind of punch. The dust cover here. And then reinstalled it into the new Rough Country one here. Tapped it in. Took off the shock. Took off the sway bar. Took off the lower control arm, disconnected the drive shaft, 
disconnected uh, the passenger side. This is the Allen I was telling you about. It's a 12 millimeter, not a five. Okay, and then the differential will drop. You have to disconnect the um, four-wheel drive actuator. It's just a little push pin. Then you disconnect the uh, vent tube um, and that literally just popped off with a finger. Slowly put a jack underneath the front diff and wiggle it down. Then from this hole here, you measure three inches and 12 inches and I made a cut, which brings us to our current situation. So let's, next step is to assemble the cross member. Like I said, it's labeled. So you'll know which nut, uh, sleeve and uh, washers to use and urethanes and all that. <clears throat> and here is the control arm. All that good stuff. Sorry, shaking a little bit. I'm trying to carry this tripod. can see but this is the cut that was made there and the good old dry shaft hanging the section that's cut out I'm gonna paint that and then uh, it says to lift the front diff back into place that's gonna be fun and then we can start assembling um, everything else so we'll just keep you guys posted as we go um, I did decide to uh, change out my brake lines for stainless steel brake lines longer brake lines and uh, power stop uh, rotors I'll show that in a minute all right I'll come back and see how far I get all right so here's the difference between between rough country and some of those other really good kits like BDS. Step number 33. Insert the rear cross member into the frame using supplied 5 8 by 5.5 bolt washer lock nut from bag 1748 uh, bag one uh, hand tight. Does not tell you which way the rear cross member goes. It could go forward, it could go backwards. It doesn't tell you which one is the front and which one is the rear. So, um, a lot of research. This is the correct way that it should go up into the truck. And uh, I've been referencing Victory 4x4. I'll leave a link later. They go through a complete detailed lift of um, BDS, which is uh, one of the higher brand. Uh, lift kits and there's a reason why it costs so much and you pay for what you get like anything in life okay more fun times so instructions say while on a jack stand lift the differential back into place the rear cross number um, already oh, let me see if I can pull it up here left and right so if you look closely there is a L there black which you cannot see but that is the left that little tab needs to be on the driver's side then you need to insert the uh, 5 8 bolt bolt washer and alignment cam what you are gonna notice is a little notch this notch needs to face out of the vehicle on the other side the notch faces out of the vehicle okay so I put in the passenger side first I jacked this thing up it weighs about 100 pounds no kidding <clears throat> then I'm gonna lift up the rear bracket slide the pins in with the notches facing out then insert the front uh, cross member 
and you do have to take off both sides of the differential brackets from the driver and passenger side okay so so far it's coming along and again I am doing this by myself with no mechanical skills and reading the directions and using some logical reasoning and critical thinking skills okay so after fighting with the differential and putting one bolt in the rear that you can see there to the left and maybe one or two um, of the original factory uh, diff brackets there you're gonna go back over to the other side and the instructions say 22 millimeter but I really don't think they know what they're talking about but yes this is the uh, 3.5 inch 916 bolts we're gonna insert the sleeve in the middle and the bushings I put some uh, anti-seize uh, kind of like how the guys on victory 4x4 did it needs to go in that direction in that orientation and it will go there to the front member and here to the rear cross member all right so I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done with that